Hello everybody, this is Kyoshi here. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Spin Master Disney Tron Legacy Deluxe Clawed Action Figure. So without further ado, let's get started. We'll take a look at the packaging first. This is a vintage figure, by the way. I got it from one of my local vintage comic shop slash store. Um, I got it for five bucks, guys. I don't know how much these are were released for, but um, yeah, but I got it at a pretty good deal and i'm a huge tron fan by the way i love the movie especially um so that's what i got this claw figure but anyways here's the packaging we have window display here with the tron logo legacy logo here and here's the back um some read-ups and also um there's different figures that you get you can get from this set awesome move the packaging to the side and let's focus on the figure here we have the claw figure. Um, it does come with his katana, the blade. The blade looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, but standard at the same time. And also uh, this claw figure, let's do a 360 first. It's very nicely detailed. You know, it's not like fancy, fancy figure, but it is very nicely detailed figure. Um, it got all the, the orange slash yellowish lines. Um, they're all lined up pretty nicely. Um, yep. And then what else? Oh, it also comes with his disc, the identity disc, which is removable. And you can also attach to the back. In terms of articulation, it's pretty standard, but at the same time, it's pretty cool as well. You know, um, this is how far I can go up. It, it only has single jointed arms, you know, but it does go out really far. Um, okay, and then it does have a hand. There's no waist or ab crunch at all, but the feet, there's a T-bone feet. That's how much it can go up, rotate, and then um, not much. Uh, this is how much you can bend it. Um, you can do like a rotation, but you can't really move front or back. Yep, uh, the articulation is standard, but uh, the gimmick for this figure is not the articulation. It's its lighter feature and the uh, illuminated face um, i think it's called the face move um moving face technology and it also talks uh, you do need to have uh, batteries the batteries are not included with the figure you do need three rl44 batteries they're pretty cheap by the way you can get it for like five bucks for like 20 on amazon or something like that or you can get it for four dollars for six or something like that from stores but yeah, let's, uh, let's do the gimmick. Uh, basically, all you got to do is here's two buttons. Uh, one of them is for samples. One is for like the actual uh, actual talking, actual light up feature. Um, I don't know which one's sample, which one's... But let's, let's, let's just keep it at the bottom first. Right now, it's down. I mean, that's a, this is the sample version. Let's give it a try. And here's the button you press. One more. So, you like bikes? Cool. And then I think there's another, there's more. Greetings, programs! Cool. Lives. Yep, this is like the display sample option, which uh, when you, when you press this to the, to the bottom, and then press the button here it will light up and also talk at the same time where the full feature button um it's slightly different ready so you just move this up um it will light up first when you press once so the now it's light up there's a light up feature going on but it does not talk it will just light up much longer as well unlike the sample feature but when you press it again it will start talking Cool. And then let's try it again. First press, it's a light up feature. And then one more press. You'll get the reward you deserve. Cool. We'll get a closer close closer look. Light up. So you like bikes. Cool. One more. Oh, 
pretty cool, right? I think it's pretty cool for a vintage figure. I think the technology is pretty amazing. Uh, we don't see these kind of features nowadays. Anyways, I think it's one of a kind. I, I do really dig it. And um, yeah, I think that the uh, full display option, it's basically for those who just want the light up feature without like talking and anything like that, you can have that option. Um, versus you know the example version you, you kind of have to have the light up and talk at the same time but anyways i think this is an amazing figure i do really like it um once again i got this for just five dollars I, I cannot nitpick at all i i love it so this is my review of the spin monster oh spin master uh disney tron legacy deluxe cloud action figure um, I do really like it, and um, sometimes vintage figures are not that bad, especially back in the days. I think action figures are built better. Yes, they don't have the real face tag, they don't have the uh, more enhanced or the better articulations as how they are supposed to be today. However, you know, I think the plastic, the materials they're using, it's much better, it's more doable, and uh, they put a lot more heart into designing and sculpting on these figures. I think today's action figures which are lacking in some ways um yeah figure back in the days you know they just made much nicer and better and just better quality in general and the qc were better as well versus now you know figures are cheaper but they're basically large massively produced and um the qc issues are usually a pain in the ass anyways thank you guys so much for watching and i will talk to you guys in the next video bye bye